know release in the history we have maybe less than 10 hip hop release you got to give it time cuz cuz the culture didn't come until like the early 90s when uh, there was a, a group called Soft Heart uh, I'm sure everyone here would know they they're like an old school um, kind of like comedian type type deal turned into like making pop like really poppy hip hop music so ever since then that's the image that hip hop been, hip hop has been given to, to Hong Kong hip hop. When like the teenagers in Hong Kong, when they listen to hip hop, they they don't really understand what is hip hop. They just think that um, hip hop is uh, is something like a full of foul language. They are about the foul language, you know, uh, just like uh, LMF. So um, uh, this is not uh, very acceptable uh, among Hong Kong people. Hip hop and other something is. For us, actually, just so so far too far away. Some pop songs are, are talking about the love and and look up relationships between the, the lovers. So they enjoy this, but uh, teenagers they don't like hip hop because it, it has nothing to do with the love. I don't think this is my style because this is a bit loud and a bit noisy for me. Yes, and I like classic better. Need a rebellious person to like evoke the scene, <laughs> and you know the education in Hong Kong is not so yeah. like it doesn't doesn't supporting like revolution yeah. or that kind of message. So I think hip hop is not like now is more like a commercial uh, idea commercial or commercial style you know, for hip hop. There's actually a really mainstream group here called uh, Long Fu Farmer, and I mean what the, I, I don't know if you heard of. Them. But uh, you know, you see them on TV all the time. Uh, they kind of went the way that uh, Soft Heart did in the 90s. It's kind of like, you know, comedy, really funny. Uh, no, no curse words, the kids can sing along to it. Positive language. Um, I mean, you know, that stuff, a lot of the underground heads, they might be like, oh, you know, they sold out or whatever. But you know, that actually is opening a lot of roads for the underground MCs here at home. I started this group because uh, the three of us were invited to Malaysia to, to perform at a beach party in Malaysia like, as individual artists. So like, we were solo artists, right? But we were, we were going there for like, I mean, we were going there together. So we decided to form a group and perform there since like last August. Uh, I don't really listen to Kendo Pop. I mean, I, I listen to like, I listen to Kendo Pop when I walk around the streets, shopping malls, or, or like sometimes on TV. Uh, what I think about them, like I, I'm not really exposed to a lot of it. So from those that I see, it's mostly about it's mostly about um, about love, which is I don't know, which is really really shallow. Like they don't really talk about love like deeply. They just talk about like oh I love you, I love you a lot and all those. But they don't really go into the story and everything. And like there are a lot of uh, kind of pop singers that are singing the same stuff, which is getting boring to me. Hello,我是Tidal,我是Graffiti 我們因為我們真的喜歡hip-hop,我們會留意hip-hop的東西。People are more angry back then, but now like everyone is happy, like we're close to like a lot of people from different crews. 
Like we work together as well. Like we're together, work on shows together, make songs together, like produce beats for like people from other crews, and yeah, like we're like a, a big family, so it's good. If you say that you're in the United States, Korea, Japan, I think it's all about the cooperation. Yes, these two years have been doing this community. So I'm a part of it.